We all know how hard it can be to ask for help. But people like Kylie and Michael make it easier. They run a food relief charity that got them through tough times. Now they need a hand to keep the doors open. We have foregone wages to keep this place open. This is the first time that I've ever openly had to ask for help. We're not really worried about what will happen to us. We just don't want to let everyone else down. If we didn't have this, it'd be really, really, really difficult. I will fight and I will um, do everything I can to try and keep it open. Um, sorry, I get a bit emotional. For more than a decade, Kylie and Michael Jennings have been the people you can rely on when times are tough. Amazing, amazing people. They would take the shirt off their own back to give it to somebody if they needed it. That's just who they are and what they do. Their food relief charity, Loaves and Fishes, in Toowoomba, west of Brisbane, is providing a lifeline for its community. With finances at the moment, it's so tough, especially with children, especially with seven children, it's really hard. There's nowhere else that provides this sort of avenue for, you know, cheap food and that sort of thing. Open five days a week, customers can come in and for just $60, leave with two trolleys full of food. They get a box of tomatoes, they get mandarines, watermelon, potatoes, um, then they get the dry, hamper, dry pantry pack and it's got like the staples in it, baked beans, it's like spaghetti. For customers like mum of three, Frances Graham, Loaves and Fishes is more than just a charity. It's a safe place she can ask for help with no judgement or questions asked. Sometimes it's hard to reach out and use organisations like this. When you do, you just really appreciate what they're doing for everybody. It's hard work, but few understand the gravity of it more than Kylie and Michael, who once relied on this very charity themselves. We were originally customers and then we just thought it was such a good service that we would do whatever we could to help them out, yeah. When they heard its shutdown was imminent 10 years ago, they poured their life savings into keeping the doors open, even expanding operations to service outback towns up to 600 kilometres away. We support 10 communities. We do Charleville, Mitchell, Roma, Chinchilla. We've just taken on um, Tara. We're the only, only charity that does that sort of run. This is something that fills all our pantries up. Um, the fruit, vegetables, uh, nothing out of date. It's all good quality stuff. Uh, without loaves and fishes, we'd be lost. Um, we're out back farmers, um, also being on the pension, and we struggle. But soon, it could be no more. With donations dwindling and hunger relief organisations like Food Bank low on stock, the flow-on effect is dire. We're struggling to pay bills because we've got to buy stock from that's like two to three times what it used to be. In our back dock, we have 38 pallet spaces. That used to be full. Used to be full. I've got three pallets of food out of my back dock at the moment. As it stands, Loaves and Fishes Care Service runs on the smell of an oily rag, so absorbing rising operating costs is becoming unsustainable for Kylie and Michael. And now, they're the ones in need of some charity. Without it, these doors could be forced to permanently close. Kylie and I have been known to dig into our own pockets to keep this place going. I'm shopping at Coles, Woolworths and Aldi every day to put staples in my hampers for my customers or my clients because I don't want them to miss out. Without government funding, Kylie and Michael are in desperate need of help. If everyday people come in and buy a hamper, even if they give it away to someone else who is struggling, um, that helps us keep our doors open. Things are getting harder. I think we're going to probably need more organisations like this around. We're not going to give up without a fight. That's it. We won't give up without the a fight. The community needs us and hopefully they'll get behind us and back us. It's a story we hear all too often, isn't it? But they're really good people, so if you can help Kylie and Michael, please do.